feels like I've been stabbed. One of the small pleasures in life is being able to have breakfast and then climb back into bed, even if it is just for 20 minutes. Now after that 20 minutes is up, Winston and I are having quite a more relaxing day today. Obviously he did a big hike yesterday, probably the biggest that he's going to do at his age at the moment. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, he's asleep in the duvet. Um, so today's a pod day, got to empty the chemical toilet, empty the wastewater, refill the fresh water, empty the bins, etc. But we are going to go on a small walk to, now I can't remember the name of it, I'll put it on the screen, but there's a little wood nearby. Now I tried to get to it last time when we walked into the town, but the trail took us through somebody's property. Now I know it's a public trail and I'm allowed to walk through it but I don't like it. I don't like walking through people's property. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. So we turned around. But I have found another trail into the wood so we'll go out the campsite in the other direction and then meet that trail and go in that way. So yeah, a little bit of casual exploration today. Okay, so I've lost a glove again. This is like deja vu. Deja vu, is that how you pronounce it? But yeah, I think I know where it is and we're going back that way. So we're gonna have to hope it's still there when we get back. I actually think it is, it's so quiet and nobody's here. But yeah, I really need to stop half putting my gloves in my pockets because they always end up falling out. But I do it and I go, we'll be fine. And guess what? It's never fine. Now I've lost a glove. And this glove is no good without the other glove. So yeah, fingers crossed we can find it on the way back. It's quite sprightly for an older dog that just climbed the highest peak in South Wales yesterday. So we ended up on the wrong trail, we ended up down there instead of up here, so I just came up through the woods. Look at these! Now at first glance, these tractors looked abandoned and non-running. I mean they had moss growing out of them and they had rusty engine parts hanging out. But the thing that got me confused is this arm on the back of this green tractor. The arm looked newer and as though it was still functional. So that left me rather confused about the whole situation. carried on walking and then a bit further down I found these log piles. Pretty normal stuff right? But then as I was walking through the log piles I found these that are made out of the logs. And I'll be honest the first thing that popped into my head was that these are what they hang nooses off and what they use to hang people. Now maybe I've watched too many movies but I quickly left. So we are now at the top of a hill. I was hoping to get some good views, but as you can see, I don't think that's happening. Surrounded by trees. Mm. 
Where are you going, Wynn? Should we head back? Hey, you head back. Come on then. <laughs> And then on our way back, we found more machinery. But this looked newer, it looked as though it was in working condition, and although no one else was there, I could still smell the freshly chopped wood. is that it's half 11 and I haven't seen a single person today. Not on the campsite, when I got up, when I went to the bathrooms. I haven't seen a person when I've been out on this walk and it's made even more spooky by the fact that I've been finding those like abandoned work sites. And it's Tuesday, is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. So it's not as though it's a Sunday and nobody's working. So it's really creepy. I wonder if my wishes came true and I am now completely left on my own. Okay, so this is when we start looking for my glove. Keep your eyes peeled, Vince. Think I see it. I wonder if this is the same glove that escaped last time. Maybe it just keeps trying to run away from me all the time. Got it. We now have a pair again. You're not bothered, are you, Vince? Well, that was an interesting little morning wonder. Although we ended up doing about four and a half miles by the end of it. I did not, I thought it was only be like two miles. How we ended up doing four and a half, I don't know. I don't feel like I've done four and a half. I don't feel like we were long enough to do four and a half. To put that into comparison, yesterday we did five and a half miles. Yesterday was much harder though, obviously because we're on a steep incline and the wind and the rocky terrain. Today it was pretty much flat and the weather was very still, so it's much easier to cover ground. So I suppose that's why. But yeah, we only did a, a mile lesson yesterday. It was then time for me to catch up with my day job, not realising that I had chopped my own head off. I've just been sat working away in my own little world and I'll just close the laptop I turn around and I see this and then I remember that I've just let a perfectly good cup of tea go cold and I don't have a microwave is that a sin if I was at home I would warm up that cup of tea in the microwave but because I don't have a microwave in the pod it's just gonna have to go down the sink. How very un-British of me. Although, is it British to microwave your cup of tea? I don't know. I just don't like wasting anything. And then last but not least, I went off for a quick shower and somebody had left the toilet seat up.
After putting the toilet seat back down for filming, here's a tour of the Erlon Caravan and Camping Park in Landoveri in Wales. So this is one of the four family rooms. So you have a shower, a sink and a toilet all in one room and it's like having your own bathroom. Now during the week, because the campsite was quiet, the main facilities were closed and you used the family rooms. But at the weekend, the main facilities opened up because everyone was coming to visit the site and their seasonal pitches. Now this is a full facilities campsite, so you have a pot washing area, laundry, chemical disposal, etc. And I really like that you can book online and choose your own pitch in either the adult only or the family friendly areas. Now I chose pitched five in the adult only area. I also like that they have an enclosed off lead dog area. It's just great to have a place where Winston can run around off lead and play with his toy. Now I stayed in February 2024. I paid £22 per night and my pitch had electric, water and grey waste disposal and I also got access to a really good free Wi-Fi connection. I stayed for six nights, I had a lovely time and no complaints whatsoever. They're all gone once. You don't drop any. So yesterday's pod day didn't really go as planned. Firstly, we went for a much longer walk than I expected. And secondly, I ended up then just doing loads of work yesterday afternoon. So it was not relaxing at all. Now traveling is exhausting enough, but traveling whilst managing or trying to maintain your work levels is doubly exhausting and although i absolutely love this i have to be mindful that i do need rest days when i'm going away for just short periods it's not a problem because you can just bang it out and then recover when you get home but it's so easy to burn out on long trips so we're going to try this pod day again i've had a very relaxing morning i'm now just heading to the co-op to get a few food bits and then we really are going to have a relaxing day. I'm going to sort out the few bits. I still haven't emptied the chemical toilet. I haven't emptied the wastewater. I haven't filled up the fresh. I haven't done any of that. So we can potter about and do that today. And Winston and I will just be happy with a few little tootles around the campsite. So that's the plan. Pod day, take two. So we tried Barra Bruff last time we were in Wales. Now let's try some Welsh cakes. So the downside to having a dog in such a small caravan, firstly he can smell the food I've just put in the fridge and up there, but it's also that when he trumps and it smells, it's confined in a very small space and it's very concentrated isn't it Fuzzy? Yeah, it's very concentrated. So even in February, Got to have the door open for a while to get rid of your stench that came out of your bottom. So I came back and put the shopping away and then we tottled about, did our little jobs, had a little wander around the campsite, all nice and chilled, but now it's lunchtime. And because I bought loads of little bits from the co-op that were reduced, 
Um, they obviously need eating, so the lunch is a little bit of everything. So I'm excited to try these hog roast and apple burgers. And I'm having them with um, chicken Italia. Chicken chipolates with tomato, mozzarella, basil and garlic made in small batches because we're big on flavour and quality and reduced price. So we're going to have them together with some peas. I've got no rice, so I'm going to have to have it with pasta. So a very strange mix, but you know, it's food. I'm grateful. It's going to be all right. I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to end up with a full belly. So I'm more than happy. And Winston is not a fussy eater. So he is happy too. I'm going to sit and watch and make sure I do it all properly. Over here. So I've just got these sausage out of the packet and put them in the pan and they smell amazing. Even Winston's little nose started going. He almost fell off the chair. They smell really good. Not even cooked yet. You know you're eating your piggy. Go back in from the rain. I like it when this has got that nice taper. He lost that a bit when he was recovering from his injury. Got a little bit wide there. There's his spinal implants that you can see. He's lost a little bit again now that he's been adventurising. And it's good to see he's not so much of a potato. A little bit of a potato, but. Good boy. Right, let's try one of these Welsh cakes. Now it doesn't say what they are, it just says the ingredients and that they are Welsh cakes. But I don't know what fruit Welsh cakes are. So, let's have a taste test. Got a cup of tea on standby. The best way for me to describe these is that they're very similar, not the same, but very similar to a scone or scone, depending on where you're from. I feel like I need some butter with it. Mm. Tasty, similar to a scone. <laughs> 